Hey guys, welcome to this video. In this one, we're going to talk about the S&P 500 uh, index. I'm going to swap onto the daily to kick it off. Thanks to all who came to my live stream. Uh, if you've been following me, my post videos, live streams, you probably would have looked short as the S&P came up and of course has hit away slightly. Uh, and what's happening now is you're seeing, okay, the market's still not sure what it wants to do with this doesn't know where it is with inflation um, and the way things are going to turn out. They think there's going to be a soft landing in the economy. They're not entirely sure. And that's why you're seeing lackluster movement and a continued downtrend. Now, you can see that simply by drawing a line. It's really easy to do. And I did a YouTube video on this recently. That is your trend line down. So you can see lower highs, okay, and lower lows now. And it sort of stalls a little bit. But this just reflects the economic downturn, if you like, um, and the fears of traders. So looking on a more near term basis, and I'm going to swap to the four hour for this. OK, you can see what we got here is hardly any movement from this side and this side. OK, it's literally sort of OK, it's about 3760 from 22nd December. We're now up to 393. Okay, so really not a long way in that period of time. Now, as the market starts to fall, because there's lackluster sentiment, in other words, there's not much really going on, you're probably going to get a bounce at near term uh, support. If you are going to trade this, it needs to be lightly, as always. You do not want to load in, especially when the market is slightly lackluster. If you do take this long, it's going to be a scalp trade. Okay, You're going to be in probably more of an intraday, I would say. You just want to exit at early resistance at this point because there's no reason for this to continue harsher the other way. And a lot of equity markets are pulling down right now. So I wouldn't buy it right now. You're going to be either, you're basically going to look for an intraday long at this point. If it comes lower and lower, I'm only ever trading it lightly. Okay, and it's because this is jittery. We've hit these levels a lot of times. If you come all the way down here, which would take a little bit of a move, again, I'm still light. Now, if I'm looking to the upside to get short, if the price rebounds, okay, I'm looking to short up here. This is catching a lot of traders out because they're looking to continue the trend on the line that I drew, whereas the market's not always going to be like that. I think if you do rebound, you might beat these previous wicks here, ram into this resistance. Okay, you can have a front runner and the rest of your position, and that would be ideal for a short. So short zones up here. Okay, anything down here really is going to be an ideal long. That's for risk averse traders. Uh, people who are in actively trading small, you can you can go for the midline between these two points really. But it's not preferable. Okay, for the mass market on trading view, they're not going to be doing that. But that's completely up to you. Okay, so you've got your mid level there. Not much market value. I would only really like it long down here, and I would like it long lightly because if market sentiment continues to the bad to the to the downside, you'll probably scoop under this low and hit here. Okay, so risk averse positions are higher up top where these lines are and this arrow in there okay for shorts and if you come down to this point you might get a light long there but your risk averse long is going to be here okay and that'll be as you scale in but look at all the time you've had to hedge and exit any losing positions you've had weeks to do it and that is why this works well the way we trade at will of the trader because it takes you from it takes you a year to get to this point. It's taken a year to get to thirty five hundred from forty six hundred. That is an enormous amount of time. Okay, and that's pretty standard on equity markets and things like that. It takes a while, so that gives you a chance to get in and out and reverse anything you've done badly and collect those gains. And as long as you're making money as the price falls, trading with the trend, then you're going to stack up those collective gains. Uh, in other words, you're going to make money and it's going to mitigate any accumulated drawdown or pending loss. Um, that's a bit more technical, uh, but just know all this price action can be used. Okay, all this time, there's no point in sitting on your hands doing nothing. You could have used that. 
to your advantage. So make sure you do. Thanks for watching guys. As always, jump in the description below for more and I'll see you in the next one.